Now, here's the unfortunate thing. I see that is now not, that is about nine o'clock for me. That means that mm -hmm. our show ends at thirty mi in less than thirty minutes. There is no time to do a draw pile. So, unfortunately, we're gonna have to forego our pile. We're gonna have to say sorry to our next pony week. army. Well, may not maybe not next week per se. Maybe we can actually do something later this week if I end up actually getting free time. But if that ends up being the case, we will try to make early announcements. So anybody who just wants to get on stream and do a draw pile together for giggles without having to worry about um, show times or anything like that. Essentially, we'll see what we can do. I do apologize that, unfortunately, plans went awry. But that's also what happens with the show. We have so much fun talking about everything. We don't have a t enough time to talk about everything. Where was I? Right. Basically, oh, we were having too much fun talking Gemini. about everything. Well, then I was also trying to get the uh, these images saved for the uh, tell your tale uh, captionings. So we're going to go ahead and move on to our video segment because it is already way over bloated. More bloated than Alphabetal's front shot. Sorry, I just can't. He's he's a round boy. He's a big round boy. And I'm sure people, some people love a big round boy. And that's all I'm going to say about that. There, there's, uh, there's really no uh, ifs, ands, or buts. People like a big round boy. But he's a big round boy. Some folks want an absolute unit. They do. <laughs> and to those people, I recommend the Fairbanks Moore's H66. Oh, no, I, I screwed up the number. Damn it. <laughs> all right. Sorry, just checking this video real fast uh, before we go ahead and put it on here. So we're going to go ahead and go into our video segment. Uh, so we can finally we can finally have a chance to video segment this. Hooray, good times for all, right? On that note, I actually need to go to bed. Aww. Have a good Alrighty. wait. Cool. Sorry wait. I was late. Cold us wait. Have a good No, we what? Shout wait, out. there's one thing. You have to give us your shout out. Uh okay. Uh shouts out to Amtrak, because trains are fun to ride on. Uh also, shouts out to Circuit for doing something crazy with the pre-show. I saw the thumbnail in my YouTube recommendations and like, oh, oh my. Some craziness went down. Wait, also, Circuit's really fun to ride on. <laughs> uh, out of context, that makes me sound horrible. <laughs> Have you not seen his thing? No, no, no. It's his screen for ride. when you're not here. Yep. I, it's so I, versatile. Everyone wants a ride. Oh, you're, you're talking about the anti pre show pre show. Yes. Yep. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I made that just for you. Well, because of you. Thank you. I'm <laughs> so glad that I have some indirect involvement. Hooray. That's <laughs> all. Uh, pre show will happen next week, hopefully. Uh, sorry about that. I, I had a train trip. Uh, which was fun. Uh, yeah. And, Don't uh, worry. I'll be in a front to your before show next week. I, uh, I look forward affrontively to that. Hella. Have a good. Bye. All right, Cold Dust. All right, let's go ahead and get our start on our video segment with Here's to You, the source filmmaker PMV. Apparently, they recommend having subtitles on, so make sure you do that before we, before, while we get started here in three, two, one. Okay, it's all go text there. Wow, that was interesting. Yeah. That new world is yours to live in, not. As a snake, but as a man. Am I getting Metal Gear vibes out of this? Uh, if this is five, well, either four or five. Your I didn't play either of those. I think four. Nicola, but 
immigrants wrongly executed. But their death served as a message to others. Is this supposed to be poignant? To believe your yes, sacrifice will change the it. world. Zero and I, liquid and solidus, we fought to free ourselves from nations and systems. Don't worry, I checked it. There's no copyright hits on this. The only liberty we found was on the inside. Oh, wait a minute. I think this is like uh, a, like based off of Metal Gear Luna. A weird a series of some sort. I've been given freedom. Let me look into this here. Freedom to be. Yeah, I'm it watching. is Metal yeah. Gear. Do you expect to know which one it is? You mustn't allow yourself to be changed. Yeah, there's so many to be ruled characters. By Humans can choose. Oh my god, I love this image. To live. Metal Gear! Okay, here's an image I just randomly ran across. Let's go. Okay, this might this might all um uh, the copyright from here. No. Wait, what? What about copyright? Toa? Toa! I, I can see what? What was you saying? Uh, I said oh I can see the copyright from here. It, it's not. It literally is not. I literally loaded it up just before playing it to make sure. Jeez. No, I don't also, blame you. Okay. So I think this version is from the credits for Metal for four. Oh. Apparently the original version, you can find a cassette tape for it in five. Oh, cool. Oh, ground zeros specifically, actually. Oh. Huh. Oh. Okay. Let's see. But I feel like this this is like tied to something. It, it think there's a fan maybe fiction. it's just the an, maybe the fan maybe. fiction or maybe it's just the animation series. Oh, there's a yeah, there's a lot of uh, animations in regards to like Metal Gear Luna on this guy's channel. There could be a fan fiction story that it's all connected to. Yeah. If it is, they're not referencing it in any of the videos, so I'm wondering if it's just like little tidbits. What? Why is this called misclick? I'll just you take a look. Fear toilets. The fear of every metal. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> mm, rads. <laughs> Is that a healing gun or a killing gun? That's the injection for Probably a little bit of both. It's right away. Alright. You know, I'm curious. If there is such a thing, I, I know where I can find this. Jesus. My little pony. A new generation. Racism is bad. Make some goddamn friends. Oh, I love this. Mark, chapter one. Yeah. Use your eyes. Make your mark, chapter two. Izzy does it. Capitalism destroys creativity. <laughs> <laughs> I know what they're doing. Really bad, you freaking yep. boomer. Wait, what the fuck? Is that Twilight Sparkle? <laughs> <laughs> Siblings may grow apart when they get older, but you can still be friends. Ali Khan. Fame is fickle. Social media is bullshit. The cutie <laughs> Every pony has problems. The traditional unicorn sleepover. 
Lock up your valuables when you have strangers over. Who done it? Planting evidence is a class A felony. <laughs> have you seen this dragon? Keep track of how many rooms you have in your damn house. Winter <laughs> wish day. Buy our Christmas toys! <laughs> <laughs> I love it! I love it! Yeah. Buy our toys. Buy our Christmas okay. toys! And uh, obviously you'd have to do a completely separate series for the, uh... You know, what? Bit for Tell Your Tale. Oh, that but, is yeah. very interesting. Wait, is that Did the you... Minecraft bat sound? Yes, that was. And then a mow. By the way, uh, just a fun little thing here. Apparently, uh, they actually, uh, Equestria Daily apparently celebrated one year of Open, po Aloha, of open Pony. Pony. My name is so I got a lot Bright, of pictures and, and stuff going on. Welcome to Hawaii. Hope your trip from San Dineo was a smooth cruise. <laughs> Please take this orchid lay as it brings you happiness and paradise. Mahalo! Project Paradise. For a moment, I kind of forgot we were watching a pony video. When they said, hey, why I wanted to strangle someone. <laughs> All right, of course, uh, villain that walk meme. Stuff. You got the silly walking meme going on here. Where's Silver Quill? Cash, moolah, mm. simoleons, dough, scratch, cheddar, oh, what is stacks, the mix? bank. Coin. This is a bit. Money makes the world go round, you see, and Equestria is no different. Society is built upon the exchange of goods and services, occupations and so functionality. Money. Even in an idealized yep. what is a bit? world, Essentially, there's what a measurement is a bit? of value. Stored in a commodity and I can't find even a fan fi fiction about Metal Gear Luna, this is so currency. I'm curious the chosen currency oh. for the pastel colored horses. I mean, there's plenty bits. of Metal Gear and Pony there crossovers, but not Metal Gear Luna itself. For the ages. One that we here at Blue Horse hmm. Industries shall attempt to answer. I did not make this, by the way. This is real. Apparently, it's a granite manufacturing company. I thought it was hilarious and wanted to share. And that question. Let's <laughs> <is laughs> <a> <laughs> break out all reliable. You know how this old song and dance goes. My homeboy Webster defines a bit as the biting or cutting edge or part of a tool. Nope. The part of a key that enters the lock and acts as the bolt and tumblers. Nuh uh. Something that curbs or restrains. No. I don't know. I can kind of question that a little bit. Usually steel part of a bridle inserted in the mouth of a horse. Holy jabroni and matrimony. I just discovered there's a page two. A bit can be defined as a coin of a specified denomination. Well, thank you, Merriam-Webster, for that piece of information. We have since learned <laughs> two distinct facts. One... Okay, this per this person actually has a lot of fun with knew. this. I like this. Well, duh. And two, all ponies are canonically British. Oh. <laughs> 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 form of Canada a was ruled That's all by well the and British. good, but we have no basis as to the value of a bit. The definition clearly states there is a specified denomination, yet we do not know what that denomination is. So let's see if we can find out. Now I'm no economist. I mean, yeah, that's true. I'm not. <laughs> oh, right, the question. Uh, here's what we do know. Twilight pays 28 bits in late fees for an overdue library book. One bit is the price for one bushel of asparagus. Two bits is slightly too much for a tomato, but 12 bits is outrageous for a cherry. Four silver bits is the price for a balloon ride, and it's the only time silver bits appear in the show. Griffins use bits in Griffinstone, so it seems as though the bit is a unified currency, even in other nations outside Equestria, similar to how the euro functions for Europe. With these equations in mind, if we do the math here, with the currency exchange rate back to when all these samples were taken, factoring in the price of inflation in the 2020 global recession, we come to find the value of a bit is predicted to be the value of a Bitcoin, in that no one has any fucking idea. <laughs> what the hell is even that? Not only does no one have any idea, no one can have any idea. By all accounts, the equestrian economy should have collapsed five seasons ago, because the wrench in the system that brings the entire Dow horse and Nasdaq crumbling to the ground is this little gremlin right here. You heard me right. Spike the dragon broke the value of the bit. 
You see, bits are not the only accepted currency in Equestria. Vendors and business owners accept crystals as payment, which completely demolishes the value of a monetary system because... Dragons eat crystals. Not only am I not an economist, I'm also not a lawyer. Now, according to the U.S. Code, it is a crime to alter, deface, mutilate, impair, diminish, falsify, scale, or lighten coins or currency. Basically anything to affect the scarcity of the commodity. Well, I assert that eating the shit may qualify as that. Through the transitive property, if bits are accepted as currency and crystals are also accepted as currency, dragons eating crystals is the equivalent of digesting the cornerstone of the goddamn economy. Don't worry, supply decreasing isn't even that big of a problem because crystals can be found in the ground. Remember this horse? She has a spell that can find crystals in the ground. She was nearly trafficked by canine spelunkers because she is a money magnet. That's right, Fashion Horse is also queen of inflation. Do not take that out of context. <laughs> <laughs> the value of the bit plummets the more that she have. puts these gems into circulation. But I can hear what you're saying. Blue Horse, how is that any different than panning for gold? Because horse magic, that's why. But you know what? That actually pales in comparison to the next financially apocalyptic event that occurred right at the end of Season 4. Ponyville grew a castle of crystals. That's right, you know the metaphor about building a house made of stacks and stacks of cash? They're the same picture. This thing is quite literally made of money, and Flamethrower here tries to eat it. But you know what could possibly be worse than a <laughs> castle made of the equivalent of bits? Oh. How about an entire oh. province? The Crystal Empire is King Midas' wet dream. The ground, the infrastructure, the flora, the He's fauna, the citizens of this principality are living, breathing piles of legal tender. Let's set the record straight here. Sombra was not only a tyrannical monster, he was also the 0.01%. Dude wanted to hoard the wealth of nations, countries, continents even, because it's not just a weird crystal fetish that he has. He's dreaming night and day about money. Filthy rich, step your motherfucking game up. You ain't got nothing on the king here. So in a nutshell, we have an internationally accepted currency widely interchangeable with a commodity that is a food staple for one nation that has no known total value in circulation because it can spawn out of the ground seemingly at random that also acts as the building blocks for all living and non-living matter of a sovereign empire. Celestia or Twilight or whoever is running Equestria at this point, you need to get a handle on this pending financial crisis. It's a ticking time bomb, and it won't be long until this thing hits, and it won't be a recession. It's going to be a straight-up retreat. I'm talking about surrender, white flags, market implosions, and finally, guillotines. Fiscal Armageddon oh, is knocking at your door, horses, so you better do something fast. In conclusion... What is a bit? Is a goddamn clusterfuck. <laughs> and now, if I am about to ask whether the princess is introducing we'll our newest the, princess, you know, your favorite Sorry. hero, Rainbow Dash! Equestria will now be 120% cooler with your princess of awesome! We'll have even more awesome, wonderful air show spectaculars! Have a daring do official declared holiday? Oh, and a triple rainbow! Whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, take it easy there, princess. Uh, there are some important duties and details to go over before your reign of awesome. There are? Just go with it. Oh, okay, I guess. Uh, but as soon as they're done, this will be the start of the best era ever! With all your fake accounts, you Ah, uh, what's all this for? This is a detailed summary of your duties and expectations as a princess. Well, at least until Tuesday. Our magic printer ran out of ink. What? I have to do all of this before I can do what I really want? No pony said this would be easy. But... Uh, what about you two? Where are your lists? Raising the sun is so difficult, Rainbow Dash. <laughs> I mean, it's a giant bubbling ball of hot gas. Just like your acting skills. And Luna! <laughs> she has to raise the moon all by herself. I, I almost went completely mad when I had to do it. It's massive! Trillions of pounds in weight. We made a fat joke last time. This is just unnecessary. So that's 
why you're both kind of useless. You're too exhausted all the time to save ponies from their oh. impending You know what? They can't. They can't complain. They all set right. themselves up for it. Yeah. We need some pony <laughs> awesome <laughs> enough to save the day, and who better than a princess? With your friend's help, of course. Now, run along. You have many, many things to check off that list before Luna raises the moon tonight. But... So, you're trying to keep her so busy that she can't possibly f*** it up? <laughs> no need to congratulate me on the idea. It's foolproof. Celestia, Did it ever occur to you that your prized pupil Twilight Sparkle might make a more fitting princess? Especially when lists are involved? Twilight? <laughs> That anxiety-riddled mess? <laughs> Did you even see Lesson Zero? <laughs> and you want that in charge? <laughs> no, no, no. She's what we call a last resort. What? What the hell? Where are we? I figured it out. There's no possible way that I can complete Celestia's princess list by myself. And it's not like regular ponies can do princessy things. So obviously, the only answer to this is that we need more princesses. Oh, Hang on, no. Rainbow Dash. What are you talking about? And where exactly do you plan on finding these other princesses? Congratulations, Rarity. You're the princess of fancy shit. <laughs> real you can just do that celestia did say that my friends could help no still Ooh, it tingles. <laughs> <laughs> one week later <laughs> this princess thing easy i could do this in my sleep we have a serious problem, Rainbow Dash. What? What's wrong? This is what is wrong. You have me running around Equestria doing ribbon cuttings and restaurant tasting, scallop planning, and any other formal invited event. But you like that fancy shit. Not at the expense of my fashion. I've been so busy that I completely forgot about the fashion showcase of the year. I tried to piece together a collection the night before, but the newspapers are ripping me to shreds for its lack of inspiration or talent befitting a princess. <laughs> I'm ruined! Uh, I can fix it! We'll just make some fashion holiday next week and you can... Um, Rainbow Dash, we have a little problem. Ah, uh, you too! Well... I know you made me the princess of animal problems, and the animals of the Everfree Forest were scaring ponies, so I tried to make them see eye to eye by giving them the ability to talk and... Get to the point! Well, um, angels sort of rally the animals, and... <laughs> it's not Ponyville anymore. It's Animalville. <laughs> Welcome, your new mayor. I am your god now. <laughs> what in the... Applejack? We, uh, uh, got a bit of a problem here, but I've got you covered. <laughs> no, no, no. You didn't say nothing. What the hell? <laughs> I told you Stop to save a apple. dying orchard in Apple. You didn't specify how! Apparently, with Zalm trees. Mod! We have a problem. Ah! What now? Where's Pinky? She was going to judge the big dessert competition like you asked. But when she saw all the sweets she'd get to try, she got so excited she accidentally blasted herself to the moon. Which is a rock. Rainbow Dash, I have a problem. Huh? Fine! Pony into a princess, and then it's every pony's problem. Then no one's, no one's. Uh... All I was gonna say is I broke my last quill organizing our schedules. 
Welcome to the apocalypse. Now everyone has powers. No one's special. Yeah! It doesn't taste like cheese at all! <laughs> Stupid ponies can handle eating acorns. Smart goddamn brave now have to choose that spaz twat. Ah, so you were lied to too? I mean, banishment was bad, but finding out it wasn't cheese was worse. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. All main six as different princesses, except for Twilight, because you already know the result of that. And it actually worked. And now, uh, Trypophobia, Pinkamina. Have fun with this one. Also, I have to say, Hallboy's new album from the other side of the apocalypse would work in that. Damn! Okay. And now Rainbow Factory Let's Chapter One preview. What's happening with Apple Bloom? Oh, we actually are doing this. We're fucking doing this. What's with this backroom shit? I. You know what? It still fits. I don't know how to respond. I don't know who those two hooded men are. You don't know what you're doing. They probably want to make it more dramatic than it really is. Oh, the Rainbow Factory was always dramatic. <laughs> I'm telling you, Aurora, I figured something is wrong. Fun. And now to wrap this all up, factory. I said you've always been an a outcast. dance cover it's of Unleash the Magic. Who likes to you know what? Do I applaud you? whoever still does this. I had one or maybe two, <laughs> but the good ones disappear before I think. <laughs> No, I Some professional uh, troop or something? It looks that way, yeah. It's hard to have a brain as large as Let's see if I can get some more details here. Uh, channel is Jalisa 2, choreography. What will happen if we have the losing score? Huh. Apparently it was suggested by My Little Pony Tell Your Tale, a home to share, full episode. Ooh. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, wow. They do a lot of uh, different uh, videos here. Um, a lot of pony videos, really. But yeah, uh, uh, cosplay, paint the pass the brush. I'm on a, I'm on a yacht. <laughs> they have the dance cover. I'm on a yacht. <laughs> Let's see. Dance cover under your spell. Awesome as I want to be. A lot of Equestria girls in here. Well, okay. Yeah, I guess it's. an easy thing to cover. Huh. Okay, so yeah, they're, yeah, I guess it's a cosplayer's channel that they, I guess they do some, I guess, dance yeah. stuff too, because. And it looks like I it's like. I feel like I've seen the one with the blue wig before. Well, you might have. Uh, it's definitely not the first time I've seen their videos, that's for sure. Yeah, I do find it interesting that majority of stuff is yeah. Again, majority of stuff is pony yeah. in the channel, but yeah. I did get them. See. Oh yeah, they did the uh, cafeteria dance song, and apparently they actually styled off of the uh, the uh, the Kota doll figures. Nice. Yeah, I like that. Let's see. They also did a. Apparently, they did a dance video based off the third <laughs> third ending of the current uh, Boruto series. Oh. Let's see. They were in a cos cosplay contest for Moana. Legal. They have a League of Legends video. And then, wait, New Genesis? Um, I heard of Uta somewhere, but I don't know where. Oh, I was completely amazed by One Piece Red, amazing songs. Okay, so. So it's one. So it should be a One Piece uh, video. Okay. Uh, 
Let's see. <laughs> Unleash the magic, unleash the magic. We're not friends here after. Wow, that got muted out of nowhere. Seriously though, I did like that. That was amazing talent. Yeah. Wait, why was why was why was the, why was Tool's Ladderless album suggested to me at the end of that? What? <laughs> I don't uh, know. That was not you. I didn't, I didn't yeah, no, because all the all the other three were like Pony videos. What the fuck? But I'm not getting any suggestions, so I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and wrap it all up here. Uh, we didn't we got through a good chunk of videos, luckily, but uh. Oh man, we didn't get to the one I've been exciting to excited to do. But Oh well, we can make that our final video for the night. We can't. It's a thirteen minute long smorgasbord. Oh that one. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. But it's oh, gonna be so still streaming to the Discord. Cool. No worries, I'll get that in a moment. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up though. Luckily I got the bandwidth to make it ma to make it massive. Where was I? Right, wrapping it all up here. There's our closeout song. We had our fun. We didn't get to have fun with everything we wanted to do, but uh, we finally caught up on Tell Your Tale. I didn't think that was going to happen, but we did it. Which also means that we're finally going to have a little more free time for things in between Tell Your Tale episodes. Does that mean anything? Probably not. Did I just see a lightning flash on the corner of my eye? I'm going to pretend I didn't. We're going to go ahead and wrap it, it all up here. It's about to lightning, very, very frightening him. No, it's frightening my kitty. How are you doing there, Glitch? He's still under my desk. Anyway, uh, uh Glitchy. Let's get our shout out to it. Starting off with Crazy Matt Captain. Uh, fires, explosions, and fossil events, and dirt yellowy wrong, and, uh, mm. I don't know what we're going to be doing on Wednesday. We haven't uh, poked plans yet, but we'll be doing something. Alright, then off to DM21. Have a great week, stay healthy, and get some sleep. Alright, then Tech Stallion. Try to stay cool with it ever warming. Alright, then Tokoy. Thank you to CMC and Commander for being our chat moderators. Thank you to all the YouTube people, our Twitch chat, and our IRC chatters. And we'll see you all next time. Then on to Suki of the Otaku Ascended. We're going to bed. Alright, and to all of you, I'd like to thank you all for joining us for another episode of The Brony Show. Please be sure to keep an eye out on our Discord for random streams, which hopefully, once I finally get last thing settled, we'll have more streams going on in general. But uh, other than that, um, also I would definitely keep an eye out because we'll probably do a random stream in regards to the draw pile that we were hoping to do. Because that pony army's got to come from somewhere. But a reminder, hey, reminder to keep an eye on what. Reminder to keep an eye out on Wednesday for Winchester and his Wednesday crew doing Wednesday Winchester shenanigans. Sunday Circuits Gaming Room where we are going to be playing something. Is it Monster Hunter Rise or are we going to move on to another game for a little while while we grind up the Rise? We'll have to wait. You'll have to uh, tune in and see or wait for the announcement at least. But uh, along with that, be sure to tune in an hour early for the pre-show with Cold Dust and Friends, which includes us, apparently. But it's a pre-show, which is always a good time and a great way to warm up before the main show. And also, if you're watching us live, we have the After Party, a YouTube video spectacular where we just watch random stuff and just relax after a good old podcasting episode, which is always a fun time. Now that, let's go ahead and get a shout out to our IRC chatters. Thank you so much to Kelsey Kai, Clyde DeConiquist, School Dude, Fantastic Fred, Relay Surf, Sonic Forever 2 1, Tech Man, Tech Stallion, The Second, Megaly Creepy, and Yay Archivers. And also a big shout out to Judd, and also just my mate, John, our YouTube chats. In fact, uh, let's shout out everybody. I do want to thank everybody out there, whether you're watching us on YouTube when we get our episodes up. Or are you watching us live on YouTube or Twitch? However you catch the Bernie Show, however you enjoy our content and our shenanigans, thank you so much for your enjoyment over these this long time. I I really have been having a lot of fun with this. I do want to continue doing the show, and I want to add more to it. So I'm I'm hoping that once things settled out, I can make more for the show for you guys to enjoy. But for the time being, for the night, 
it's time to wrap things up and what better way to wrap it all up than with a little bit of a rap from next gen in the mill of lessons learned at least i think this is a wrap yeah i'm sure it's a wrap anyway we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up <laughs> and i hope you all have a great night and we'll see you on your web tv wraps and we'll see you on the after party if you're watching live. Otherwise, good night. Thank you.